Now that historic flight will mark the dawn of the commercial age of space travel. That's right. That's when Elon Musk SpaceX will fly two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman reports from the Kennedy Space Center. Doug Hurley. Their introduction deserved to be splashy. Bob Behnken. Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley are SpaceX's inaugural crew. They'll launch in the company's reusable rocket, the Falcon 9, and command the maiden voyage of its new spacecraft, the Crew Dragon, all the way to the space station. Both men flew on space shuttles. Both have traveled twice before to the space station. Hurley piloted Atlantis there in 2011. Roger roll, Atlantis. Final flight of the shuttle program. You're a NASA astronaut about to step into a SpaceX capsule. It's completely different than what you would have ever imagined. Colonel Hurley is also a retired Marine and a flight test pilot. In the Air Force, Colonel Behnken was a flight test engineer. Both joined NASA in 2000. They've been friends for two decades. I gotta believe that's a help. It absolutely right. is a help. I think we're way past the polite stage in our relationship. <laughs> you know, one characteristic I think we have uh, in spades is we don't quit. We don't give up and uh, we like a big challenge and by gosh, we, we certainly got one. They both met their wives in the NASA astronaut class of 2000. Behnken married Megan MacArthur. Hurley married Karen Nyberg. They're great guys. <laughs> in 2009, MacArthur's robotic skills helped prolong the life of the Hubble Space Telescope. She and Behnken have a six-year-old son, Theodore. We just try to talk to him as normally as possible about, you know, this is daddy's job, this is mommy's job, dad's going to go and, and launch on a rocket and go to space station so that it's just kind of a normal thing for him to absorb. Nyberg, Hurley's wife, has spent 180 days in space including two trips to the space station. Apparently her hair is still up there. I get reports all the time. She's got long blonde hair and they are still finding it, the filters up there. What is that like to be married to other astronauts and launching into this new era of space exploration? The biggest thing is we know how they're gonna feel on launch day. And it is way harder on them to watch somebody that you care for get on a rocket and go fly than it is for the two guys on the rocket. On launch day, Hurley's son Jack will be watching. He drew this picture of his father's spaceship. He hasn't talked about being scared or nervous. He's talked about how proud he is of his dad. They had all rather focus on potential rewards for America as a spacefaring country and as astronaut dads. I think the thing I'm most looking forward to is being able to share this experience with my son. I'm just excited for him to be able to see it with his own eyes and experience it. 10-year-old Jack and 6-year-old Theodore will both be here to watch their dads launch in person. And that should give them a new appreciation for what dad and mom do for a living. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center. Wow, the real-life Jetson family. Now, this will be the first time American astronauts will lift off from U.S. soil since 2011.